So, don't mind the eyes here. One's watering, and I didn't sleep at all because yesterday was Noah's last day with us for a little while. <clears throat> so I was up until he left writing him notes and positive love. But we're in the forest, and guess what? First hand trails of the season. Whoop whoop! Chantrails. I gotta get over there, but there's water. I didn't put my boots on because I'm an idiot wearing my sneakers in the woods. <laughs> Look at the little babies. See, that one's a little, uh, a little holy there. There's a little guy. You guys are just going to get to scan the forest with me for a second because I'm looking to see if there's more while he picks these ones. But we are back in my favorite forest. Enjoying the chirpings. Looks like it's this little patch here. But a good sign to almost immediately find some. So we're not doing it today because A, neither of us are wearing the proper walk in really moist areas, but this is ideal Porcini land. But this is what we do. We do a slow walk. Sometimes we separate a little farther to cover more ground, but we always try to stay fairly close to each other, mainly because I don't want to get lost. Right now we're still right on the road. But the forest is so calm. I also, I didn't have my phone with me. I wish I did so I can show you. But I also found this little spot where you could walk <clears throat> You can walk right up to the pond that we drive past, and there's actually like a little green grassy knoll. So we're going to maybe bring lunch to do this next time. But let's go see what we found. Okay, so if you're looking, I'll go slow. See that, see that yellow? That's what we got to look for. So depending on when you see it, you sometimes you gotta like back up and be like, oh, is that actually a chanterelle? Which that one we're leaving because we don't want to over harvest. See you in a few. Something I really like about us in the forest is he was like, is this where you turn around? And I'm like, no, this is definitely not where we turn around. I know there's another landmark on this side, but it's not face rock. And then we get to the landmark and I was like, oh yeah, it's landmark old wall. <laughs> so like just the fun nicknames and whatnot that we have. Um, for each other. Also, how's it taken me this long in my life to think of think of this when I was out here and I don't want to have a pocket knife? But, uh, yeah. I lost my hope the other day and I found it in the forest. I should have known this is where it would run away. I wrote a little poem about it. I'll have to tag it to the end of this when I get home. We found some more. Oh, yeah, that was the other thing. I was, he's like, oh, I found a bunch. And I was like, a, an I bring a bag a bunch? <laughs> or just you bring a bag a bunch? So, yeah. Foraging lingo is fun. Okay. But alas, where we end our foraging journey, Mama G's property. This is halfway between her house and my house is on that end. And up here, right about there somewhere, we have a little, there's usually a little patch of um, chanterelles. Craig's up there getting them because I don't have the shoes to walk up there. I wore I wore the war sneakers today because I wasn't wasn't planning on I don't know. But um yeah. This is the end of our forging journey. I will take a short video to show you how much we got, because it was a score. And uh also try to remember to add that little poem that I have to update since I found my hope in the forest. Love you. That's part of it. Then we have some we still have to check for making sure they're not too buggy. And then they go over to, uh, trying to not move the camera too much. Then they go over to the sink where we give them the final rinse off. So they look more like this. Woo -woo.